In front of me, I have a bunch of different onboard microphones. And I've always wanted to test them side by side to see what kind of difference there is between all these microphones. And then the Deity D4 just came out and I bought that. And I thought to myself, why am I buying another microphone? I have all these other ones. So this video is gonna go through all of these microphones to kind of figure out which ones I wanna keep and actually use and which ones, you know, I should get rid of. I'm gonna be comparing the Deity V-Mic D4, the Rode Video Micro, the Deity V-Mic D4 Duo, the Sennheiser MKE 200, the Rode Video Mic NTG, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, the Sony Digital Shotgun Microphone, and then I'll compare those against the Rode Wireless Go, Rode Wireless Go 2, and the Rode Wireless Go with a lav microphone. And I need your help. So throughout this video, I'm gonna do samples where I say the same thing with each microphone from the same distance. And I want you guys to listen on whatever device that you're listening on. And then tell me down in the comments which microphone you think is the best. So I like to do a lot of shooting outdoors. So we're gonna do these tests inside in a controlled environment. And then out here in this kind of vlog style walking around, to see what kind of difference there is between all the microphones. So let's get started with the first one. So the cheapest out of these microphones is the Deity V-Mic D4, and it's $50. And the benefits of this microphone is that it's small, there's no batteries, and this one also has an input on the side of the microphone. If you wanted to use another mic with this, say a lavalier mic, you can plug it in the side and basically it splits the audio. So one channel is the shotgun mic and then the other channel, it would be that lav mic. So for this size, that's a unique function and it's also cheaper than all of these other microphones. All right, so this is the Deity D4. I have a little bit of a light breeze coming behind me, but here we go. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Next is the Rode Video Micro, and this one costs $59. Now the benefits of this one is that it's small, there's no battery, and there's just a single output that goes to your camera. It's simple. You plug it in, you're ready to go. So let's see how this one sounds. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And one thing to note on the Rode mic, the cable comes out the back, whereas on the Deity mics, it comes off the side. So it is nice that the Deity has that design change for their small microphones. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now next up is the Deity D4 Duo, and this one is $80. Now this is a similar size to the last two mics. It's small, there's no battery, but it's got two unique features on it that make it stand out. So number one is that there's a microphone on the back as well as the front. So if you're someone who talks behind camera, you could talk to this microphone and it's not gonna sound all muffled like it would on one of these other microphones. You're gonna get clear sound. And also the microphones are designed in a way for this back one to be able to pick up your voice at a close distance. Whereas this one on the front is made for when the camera's a little bit further away from the source. Now also, just like the other Deity, there's an input. So when you put in something like a lav into the input, it takes over the back capsule. So you'll have the front capsule and you'll have that microphone just like the $50 Deity. This is the Deity D4 Duo. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Next we have the Sennheiser MKE 200. Now the audio here in my office, right up here, this one, is a Sennheiser mic. And that's why I decided to get this but I've never actually really used it that much. What's unique about this microphone is that you don't need one of these fuzzies to block all wind sounds. It has a built-in windscreen, which is what you see around the microphone. Now, they do include an extra fuzzy for those super windy situations, but the whole point of this microphone is that you can go out with just this and you don't need a big fuzzy thing. Now, this microphone costs $100 and it has an input in the front with a lock so you could screw it on and it's not gonna pop off and it's got a blue cable. 
This is the Sennheiser MKE 200. I do like the fact that this one is super small and it's not like big and puffy on top of your camera. But the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over lazy dog. So here's a little bit of wind hitting it. This is what it sounds like right there. There we got some wind. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. From here, the price starts to jump up to the other microphones that I have. So next, we're gonna go to the Rode NTG video mic. Now this has a lot more features than these other microphones that we've been talking about. These have all been no battery, no need for hassle, you just plug in and go. So the Rode NTG has USB functionality so you can plug it directly into your computer. It also has headphone monitoring on the actual mic itself. Now this one has a battery built in that's charged through USB-C and it has an automatic on and off so when you turn your camera on, it automatically turns on and when you turn your camera off, it turns off to save battery. So this one comes with a safety channel so you can record one channel higher than the other in situations where you might have loud sounds. It also comes with filters built in so you have a high pass filter and a treble boost filter. Now, one thing that's really cool about this design is the fact that it slides. So the cold shoe mount will slide forwards or backwards, which is great if you wanna put the camera right up to your face, you could slide the microphone forward and it's not getting in your way. And one unique thing about this microphone is how you can turn up the volume. So it's got this infinite volume gain on the back here. And basically what you're supposed to do is turn the camera as low as possible and then use this gain to turn it up to get the proper settings. And that way you don't have a noise floor in your recordings. On these other microphones that we've been discussing, I had to boost the audio to around 17 on the Sony a7S III to be able to get a high enough recording to use. All right, so let's hear how this one sounds. All right, so this is the Rode NTG mic. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. There's some wind hitting it right now on the tip this way. How's that sound? The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Next, let's look at the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. That's this guy right here. This was my go-to mic for a super long time, but I haven't really been using it much lately just because of its size. It's pretty big and bulky. Now this one is $299. It's similar to the other Rode mic where it has a battery built in and it has an automatic on and off. Now this one doesn't have a USB-C, it only has a micro USB for charging. This one does not have an infinite gain like this one. Instead, it has three different boost levels of your gain, so low, medium, high. This one also has the high pass filters and the treble boost. And the one downside is that this one does not slide like the NTG, so this one has a fixed cold shoe mount. So you're basically stuck with how this one sits on your camera and the cord comes out the back. Now this is a little bit older of a microphone and designs have definitely improved since this one came out. But let's listen and hear the difference between this microphone and the others. All right, so this is the Rode Pro Plus. And man, just seeing it out here vlog style, it looks massive. But the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now the final microphone is Sony's native microphone that works with the hot shoe mount. Now this is the one that I've been using for a while now and the reason is there's no cables and all of my cameras are Sony so it works seamlessly with the cameras that I'm already using. Now this microphone costs $350 so it's the most expensive out of this whole batch. However, you do have a lot more functionality with this microphone. So on the back, you could switch it between super directional, unidirectional, and omnidirectional. You have different filters for low cut and noise cancellation. You have a gain dial on the back. You can also adjust auto versus manual audio. So if you're in a situation where you're not gonna be able to control how loud things are and everything's fluctuating, you might just flip it into auto. And with this microphone, you can do it right on the back versus having to go in the menu system to do that. It also has an ATT switch to help prevent distortion depending on what you're recording. All right, so let's hear how this one sounds in comparison. All right, so now we've switched over to the Sony mic. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this is with none of the filters turned on. 
The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, let's do noise cancellation. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And just so you can hear the difference, this is omnidirectional. So everything that we've been recording has been directional and now this is omnidirectional. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now the last two things that I wanna test are the Rode Wireless Go, Rode Wireless Go version two, and then the law of attachment for the Rode Wireless Go, just so we could hear a difference between using a lav mic and the shotgun mics. So we'll start with the Rode Wireless Go, the original. The transmitter and the receiver costs $199, and these have three gain output, and you basically turn it on and it's pretty much auto from there. Okay, so this is the original Rode Wireless Go. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this is how I typically operate with a backpack. I'll put it in one of these pockets here. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The issue is if you turn away, all of a sudden it's gonna change the sound. Or if you turn this way, it's gonna change the sound in a different way. So just because we're set up, let's test the wireless go to with the exact same setting to see if there is any difference with the internal mic on these recorders. Now, the difference with the Rode Wireless Go 2 is that you get a backup recording on the transmitter. It's not the most intuitive to use and it's kind of a pain to pull them off the transmitter, but it does work well if you need a backup recording. And this also has two transmitters to one receiver. So when you buy this pack, you get two transmitters and one receiver, so you can mic up two people at once. Now this costs $299. Let's hear how this sounds compared to everything else. All right, so this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And again, I don't have the windscreen on it, so the wind's hitting me right here. You'll probably hear some of that. <laughs> What's also unique about this one is that there's more options for your output gain, so you have more than three options. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, the last thing that I wanna test is the Rode lavalier mic, just to hear the difference of using one of these little lavaliers rather than the microphone that's built into these transmitters. All right, so now we're on the added lavalier, which is an additional $60. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Usually I would hide this cable down my shirt, but just for simplicity, let's do it this way. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, so now that we have samples of all these microphones, let's play them back to back and hear how they sound. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. 
The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, so make sure you go down in the comments and let me know which microphone you think sounds the best. But let's have a quick little chat about all of these. Now, when it comes to the cheaper microphones, they all sound fairly clean and they all sound pretty good. So you can't really go wrong. They definitely do sound a little bit different, but the Rode sounds great. That's kind of a classic. A lot of people use that one, but the D4 mini sounds really good. And you also have that added input and it's cheaper than all the rest. So. Out of those ones, I would pick the D4. Now, right now, I'm using the Rode NTG, and I think out of the entire lineup, the Rode NTG just had a very rich sound, and I really like the way that it sounds. However, I'm probably not gonna use this for my day-to-day -day microphone, because the Sony is just so much easier to work with, not having to deal with cables, and also not having to deal with audio settings inside the menu system. Everything's on the back. All right, I switched over to the Sony, and I definitely think the Rode NTG has a more rich sound, but the ease of use and everything else that's on this microphone makes it a winner in my book. And I don't necessarily need a microphone that also can plug into my computer. I'm just thinking about a microphone that goes on my camera for this style of content. And out of this entire batch, working with Sony cameras, the Sony microphone is a clear winner. It's super small, it's compact, I could just throw it in my bag and I don't have to ever worry about cables. Now when comparing these microphones to the lavalier mics, those lavaliers definitely sound a lot more muddy and that's because they're on you, kind of at your chest level here, it's gonna sound more muddy. So the Rode Wireless Go's are definitely good for getting wireless audio. And if I need wireless audio, I think they all sounded fairly good, so I'm gonna stick with the Rode Wireless Go 2 just for all the added functionality. And I'll definitely bring along the extra little lavalier mic because I don't always wanna see that big square when I'm doing wireless audio. But if I was gonna choose Shotgun or Wireless Go, I'm definitely gonna pick Shotgun every time because using a Shotgun mic is always gonna sound so much better than that lavalier mic when you're getting that close sound right on your chest. Now next, I highly suggest you check out this video here. It goes through some different techniques on how you can film by yourself and still get really awesome looking footage. I'll see you over there.